You were disrespectful to him. You tried to emasculate him. You did all these things and he can't, he already can't communicate with you because you already tried to flip out. So now he just fulfilled a certain need for himself and then he's walking around and that's the only way he can be peaceful in the home with you. Some things I've learned being an escort, sleeping with people's husbands. <laughs> mm. You can do better. He can do more for you. He's just doing it with other women. He's comfortable. You let him be comfortable. He loves the kids. And he doesn't want the kids taken away. And that's one of the main reasons why he's saying. These kind of men need carers. Nine times out of ten, they're the irresponsible parent and you're the responsible one. They need someone to hold them down at home. So they can go out and be crazy and do all the things they want to do and then come home to you because they know that you've got their back. And they need that grounding. They do love you. But with conditions. Not all men cheat. Majority of men have fantasized about it, but there is a percentage that they know it's not worth it. They know it's the hunt that they want, not the catch, and they've already caught you. So that's why they're hunting, or they want to. If they couldn't pay for it, they wouldn't get it. They think that everyone wants them. They don't. <laughs> I don't want your man. I do want his money. You can do better. They are scared. These men are scared. They are scared to communicate and say exactly what it is they want or what they're fantasizing. They are scared. They are little boys. If they do leave you, they're not leaving you for someone better. They're leaving you for someone easier. I'm easy. You pay me and I am yours. There is no work to be done. It's an illusion. Small majority are very lovely, have big hearts. Some of them have mental illness. No, pretty much majority of them have mental illness. And sleeping with a younger, hotter woman is a way of validating themselves when they really could just go home to you and communicate, talk, be validated by you. They think their woman won't leave them. They do. They should. They're love bombers. If you feel like they're cheating, they're cheating. If you feel like they're lying about something, they're lying about something. If you can't have an open discussion with your partner about these fears, I mean, if you can't talk to your partner about these things, like, are, are they really your partner? Or do they look at themselves like a prisoner? <laughs> Women rule the world. Without us, they'd be, they'd be nothing. And they know that. And that's why they lie, they manipulate, they cheat, they gaslight, and they love bomb. They need to keep you at bay from reaching your full potential, which is leaving their fucking sorry ass. Before we get into the things that she's saying... I just want to say that based off of what I've seen in this video, it seems as though she is just expressing um, herself in a way that is going to make her seem uh, better received from women by not putting any of the blame on women, right? Because somewhere, somehow, like sometimes, okay, not all the time, but sometimes women who do these jobs, um, they are shunned by other women. And so the only way for her message or her platform to be accepted by other women is for her, her to um, gain a common enemy. And who is that common enemy in this situation? The man, the husband. So like, let's team up and be mad at him instead of being mad at each other. Like that is a tactic that's being used in this conversation. Okay. Because there's nowhere in this conversation where she says anything about what the women could possibly be doing wrong in their relationships to um, cause this problem as well. Right. So there's nothing. There's no accountability on the woman's part. Everything that she's saying, men ain't this, men ain't that. Uh, you can do better. You know, um, if you think he's doing something, he is. He, he, he should be talking to you instead of being with me like men are the problem. Men are the complete problem. Instead of her saying, um, you know, he can't communicate with you or you should be finding out why your man can't communicate with you. What problems that you guys have had that have caused him to go out of his home. OK, and use his resources to pay somebody for. 
in, uh, a one form of intimacy with somebody else. Not every person is going to sit down and lay down with her and tell them, you know, the God honest truth of their whole dynamics of their entire life. Let's just be real. And uh, uh, people get so mad when I say certain things, but it's because I understand the male perspective and not every single man cheats. She, she did say that. That's one thing she said in her video. Every man doesn't cheat. A lot of men think about it, but it doesn't mean that they're going to act on it, which is very true. Right. But the thing is, is that men are in a space that biologically, if you look at a lion and a lioness, OK, I'm just going to use this for an example so that I don't I don't go too far off the deep end. A lioness is, um, you know, tied to one lion. But that lion might have four, five, six lionesses. Because. Again, if we're just going with nature, he can impregnate all of them at the same time, but she can only get pregnant once. And if she meets another lion, he is only going to, um, you know, take a, delete all her cubs and create a new family with her. He's not going to protect those cubs that she created. The only person who is going to protect the cubs that she created is the lion that she created those cubs with. So if he... If, if that lion has about five lionesses and however many cubs come out of that situation, he will do anything in his power to protect all of them. If another lion steps in, he's going to demolish all of them. We're very different. We're vastly different. And we have to understand that. We do have to understand that. And I think that a lot of people need to uh, know their spouse. Is your man monogamous or not? Did you force monogamy, monogamy upon your man because that's what you required out of the relationship? Or is he somebody who is just naturally, not naturally, but is he someone, somebody that chooses monogamy? Like we have to get to those parts of the aspects of the conversation where we can think about what it really is and not what we're fantasizing about life and relationships and how they should be. And the crazy thing that I thought was that there's women in the comment section just eating this up. Thank you so much for your insight. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. You know, this is why I would never get married because this is so unfair. I have so much respect for you. Thank you. Exactly what I was saying in the beginning of the video. Because if we have a common enemy, then you're going to respect everything that I have to say. You'd rather take it from me because maybe you're frustrated in your marriage. Maybe you're frustrated in your relationship. Maybe right now you can't stand your man. And so if I talk bad about him, then you're going to, you know, be a friend with me. You're going to be fine with me. As much as I want to say that, you know, it is, it's, it's extremely important for um, men and women to have open communication. But as I'm talking to the women, it's extremely important for you allow your uh, husband, your spouse to communicate with you and you don't keep putting up a wall every time he tries to be honest with you. Because Whenever you try to put up a wall against your spouse when he tries to communicate with you, you know what you're telling him? Lie to me. You know what you're telling him? I can't take the truth. Lie to me. And guess what he's going to do? After trying to communicate, trying to tell you stuff that you don't want to hear, trying to tell you things that you blow off or you cause a big argument over or you act, you know, emotionally immature and you, you, you know, snap or you flip out and he can't communicate with you. It's only going to lead to the demise of your relationship. And again, these are two grown people in a relationship. A man has a responsibility to his relationship as much as a woman does. If you are in a committed relationship with two, with two people involved, a man and a woman, and you are um, confined to a relationship and you have a, a base of, commu of commitment with, between the two of you guys and it is clear that you guys are in a monogamous relationship and you are you know, only with her or whatever the case is, then it is both parties' duties to be able to communicate with each other if they're having a problem prior to anything else. But the thing is, is that most men do communicate, but most women act like they're deaf. They act like it's impossible for, you know, him to step out. Oh, he can never do that to me because I'm me. Oh, he would never even think, oh, that would never happen here. 
And and then you have her. Like, hey. Yeah, he paid me. It happened. The reason why you guys had that big blowout argument and then your husband came back into the house and was smiling and, and let it blow over because if you disrespect a man in a certain way blatantly, somehow because he's a man and he has ego and he is um, going to show the power dynamics, he's going to return the favor to you, whether you realize it or not. So you were disrespectful to him. You tried to emasculate him. You did all these things. And he can't, he already can't communicate with you because you already try to flip out. So now he just fulfilled a certain need for himself. And then he's walking around and that's the only way he can be peaceful in the home with you. Just being real with you guys. I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I have to know you guys' opinion on this video. Make sure that you guys um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And make sure that you guys also hit that post notification bell. It will notify you every single time that I post. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you.